Hi guys, it's Bags and President Ross. Today we have an updated election map on real clear polling. Who do you want to win? Let us know in the comments. Also, like, share, and sub. We are trying to get to 4,000 watch hours and 2,000 subscriptions. All right, everyone. We are on realclearpolling.com, as my baby said. And with the toss-up states on their map, according to their polls that they conduct in all 50 states and the districts in the USA, they have Harrison Waltz right now at 215. The toss-ups are 104. Trump and Vance are at 219 without the toss-up states or the battlegrounds, too. So, we have Washington with 12 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. Oregon with 8 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. California with 54 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. Alaska with 3 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Montana with 4 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Idaho is 4 electoral votes for Donald J. Trump. Wyoming with 3 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Utah with 6 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Nevada with six electoral votes is gray. It's a toss-up. It's a battleground, kind of, in a way. It's got the votes that could swing either or. It's one of Trump's three pathways to victory. Arizona with 11 electoral votes is gray. It's a battleground. Biden won it in Maricopa County somehow in 2020. There's some shady stuff going on there um, that still hasn't been figured out. But it has 11 electoral votes. It's a toss-up. And we have Colorado with 10 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. New Mexico with 5 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. Texas with 40 electoral votes is red for Kamala Harris. Hawaii with 4 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. North Dakota with 3 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. South Dakota with 3 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Nebraska with 4 electoral votes in its two districts is red for Donald J. Trump. Kansas, with six electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Oklahoma, with seven electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Minnesota, with ten electoral votes, is a toss-up once again as of six o'clock of this video's recording. And it could go either or. It's been flip-floppy. We don't know where it's going to land. Wisconsin, to the right of it, with ten electoral votes, is gray. It's once again a toss-up. This morning, it was leaning a little bit red with some blue mixed into the uh, pasture. And it's either or on who's going to win this one. Trump needs Wisconsin, and Trump also needs Michigan in one of his three pathways to victory. Michigan is, as you can tell, gray to the right of that one with 15 electoral votes, a toss-up. And it's been flip-flopping back and forth, these two, Wisconsin and Michigan, flip-flopping back and forth, blue, red, gray, blue, red, gray. Illinois, with 19 electoral votes, is blue for Kamala Harris. Arkansas, with six electoral votes, to the bottom is red for Donald J. Trump. Louisiana with eight electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Indiana with 11 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Ohio is flip-flopping between red and pink, and maybe there are parts of it that are super blue, but for now it's pink slash red for Donald J. Trump. Kentucky with eight electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Tennessee with 11 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Mississippi with six electoral votes is Red for Donald J. Trump. Alabama, sweet home with nine electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Florida is pink, but Republicans have won Florida since 2020. And a shocking surprise they had won Florida in 2020 with 30 electoral votes. It's pink, but, you know, red for Donald J. Trump. Georgia with 16 electoral votes. Donald Trump needs this in one of his three pathways to victory. It's a toss-up right now. It is gray. It was not colored in. Either one could win it. Kamala Harris or Donald J. Trump. South Carolina with nine electoral votes is red. North Carolina and a shocking turn of events, even with his four rallies there so far, is a toss-up once again between Donald J. Trump and Kamala Harris. Then we have Virginia, with 13 electoral votes, is blue for Kamala Harris. West Virginia, with four electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Ohio, don't know if I said it, I probably did. 17 electoral votes, it's red for Donald J. Trump. It used to be either or Democrat or Republican. It could go either or this year with the, uh, I mean, they're eating the pets, they're eating the cats, they're eating people's dogs, they're eating the cats in Springfield, Ohio. Pennsylvania, 
19 electoral votes. This is a state that Donald J. Trump needs to win if he wants to win the election. He will most certainly almost not be able to win the election without Pennsylvania. 19 electoral votes. If Kamala Harris wins Pennsylvania, she wins regardless. It's over. There will be no pathway to victory. If, if, if she wins Pennsylvania and Donald Trump doesn't, he would have to pick up an additional two or three states in order to beat her, which is highly unlikely as of right now. And Maine is flip-flopping again with two electoral votes to light blue instead of red. The rest of the states, New York, New Hampshire, Connecticut, New Jersey, Massachusetts, Delaware, Philadelphia, and the rest of them are all blue for Kamala Harris. However, the 2024 Electoral College with no toss-up states, with no battlegrounds filled in on the right side, has Washington, Oregon, California, and Nevada for the blue Kamala Harris West. You have Alaska with three electoral votes, Donald J. Trump, Montana, Idaho, Wyoming, Utah, Arizona, North Dakota, South Dakota, Nebraska, Kansas, Oklahoma, Texas, Iowa, Missouri, Arkansas, Louisiana, Indiana, Ohio, West Virginia, Kentucky, Tennessee, Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia, Florida, South Carolina, North Carolina, West Virginia are all red for Donald J. Trump. However, you have Colorado and New Mexico, Minnesota, Wisconsin, Michigan, Illinois, Pennsylvania, Virginia, Massachusetts, Rhode Island, Connecticut, New Jersey, Delaware, <laughs> and the rest of them, Maine, are all blue for Kamala Harris, including California and Nevada, Oregon, and Washington, as mentioned earlier, and Hawaii. So, they have it on realclearpolling.com. This is not our opinion, people. We get called fakes. We get called liars. We get called by the Trumpers, Kamala supporters. We get called by the Kamala supporters, Trump supporters. We get our information from three different websites and four different websites if we can find a non-biased one. Real Clear Polling, 270 to Win, and also the Rusiman Polls, and Nick Silverman. We go to Nick Silverman if we need a kind of non-biased. Um, elector. So, you cannot call us Trumpers or Kamalaans because we're not biased. We're not doing what Red Eagle Politics does. We're not doing what Election Time Now does on YouTube that are both heavy Republican where they always make it to where Trump wins no matter what in their election videos. We are not doing that. We are averaging all these websites together, all these polls together to make it non-biased. Who do you want to win? And where are you from? Let us know in the comments. Baby, who do you want to win? Kamala. All right. And why do you want her to win? And that's the answer of all of her supporters. I'm President Ross. And I'm Bags. And we are out. In.